Okay. First of all, it depends on a number of factors. Um, what when you and you can run advertisements, quotes, institutional ads, um, which may or may not ask for a response. Um, if you run institutional ads that ask for a response, then they can very often be a very good idea. Um, there was one advertisement I remember we ran, and it, it offered uh, a free booklet. This was for Ogilvy and Maiden. And we ran one double page ad, which I've got somewhere, I've got hundreds and hundreds of examples, which is all words, yeah? Uh, and it pulled in over 100,000 responses because it was very interesting. The problem with a lot of institutional advertising is that they quickly, it's almost the word itself implies that you're going to rock talk about the institution. Yeah. The institution, generally speaking, is of no interest to anybody except the people drawing ins insane salaries at the top. Um, so I think good institutional advertising can work very well. And I was saying just now, I was asked to do a report. I, I used to get asked to do reports quite regularly at Ogilvy and Mayden. Um, and I did one on institutional advertising. And I didn't sort of express any great opinion. Um, what I did was I looked for all the research I could find on the impact of institutional ads, and I found that, generally speaking, uh, in those people who, those institutions, those institutions that advertised did better than those that didn't. But you see, to me, there is a golden sort of sequence. And again, it's conditioned by, it depends on a number of factors that might change, but for instance, those people who advertise will do better than those people who don't advertise. That's the lowest bloody level, yeah? Those people who advertise well will do better than those who advertise badly. Those people who advertise frequently will do better than those who advertise infrequently. You know, so there's a whole sequence of things, yeah? So it's a question of what kind of, how good is the stuff? What are you doing? How good is it? Um, it's worth remembering. I, I do think that there are two levels at which you can try and arrive at decisions, yeah? You can arrive at, yeah, you can say, here is a general conclusion. My general conclusion is that it is better to advertise than not to advertise. I can add a rider to the effect that that doesn't mean you should run shit ads, that shit ads are better than no ads, you know. Maybe they're not. Um, <clears throat> so th and then you can talk about what, co you know, when you've decided whether you're gonna advertise or not advertise, and you're, you're you've decided, oh, this, we're interested at this point in time in institutional advertising, you say, so we now discuss about what makes the best kind of institutional advertising, yeah? What sort of stuff is going to really interest people? Um, that requires a fair bit of study. How can you write stuff? I'll try and give you an example. Uh, three years ago, I was approached by a very large company organisation that and it's one of the most frustrating things in a life full of frustration. They said, would I do something, uh, some advertising for them and some direct mail? And what they were selling was a concept, an idea, an attitude, if you like, amongst corporations. It's a very difficult thing. And what their thesis was that it pays to, to behave well. Yeah? So they were selling good behaviour by corporations. Yeah? And so I did a lot of research into this and I found out that there was a direct relationship between how well the corporation did behaved and how well they did financially. Yeah? And so I wrote some ads um, with, with headlines like, surprisingly enough, it pays. Uh, to behave properly, something like that. You know, I wrote a whole series of them with lots of examples, and then they had a woman in New York whose main job was to fuck people around. Um, <laughs> and so now that's not really our tone of voice. And I got really angry, and we had a very big row, and I got paid and I told them. Okay. But so uh, that's the sort of thing that was. That would have been to me a bloody good campaign because of the general feeling, you could, going back to what I was talking about at the very beginning uh, this afternoon, I talked about um, the element of surprise. Yeah? So you've got a very large constituency of people who think that if you're going to succeed in business, you've got to be a shit. 
And if you run out to say, surprisingly, it pays to be a nice guy, I knew it was going to do well. You know, it's one of the occasional things where I thought, I know I'm right, and these people are idiots. But that, particularly with the large American corporations, I think they run out in the sky that say, wanted people <coughs> without imagination, <laughs> and general stupidity, who love working in large organisations and have meetings to stop anything happening. Yeah? <laughs> and they, all these people are given fantastic jobs. We're, we're, I could go on about it. Okay.